Hey everybody. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of a gameplay with Ryuichi, one of the ancestors that you get to play as in Sly 4. You probably should remember him from the first game, where you got to eh, sort of see him. I mean, he was like light blue and he was very colorful, and he had this funky little bloop of hair on the top of his head and made him look kind of like a girl. I honestly, for the longest time, thought he was a girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But yeah, he's, he's a boy, apparently. And there's a very, very deep voice. I can't even get it. <laughs> My boyfriend hates the him. <laughs> this really gets annoyed with his voice. But, um, yeah, welcome to ancient Japan. It's where we get to be. This is one of the weirder worlds in my case. I mean, well, I guess I wouldn't say weirder, but I'd say more over. Absolutely overdone, but it's very extravagant. And I'm failing horribly at trying to figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> Wee! That makes funny noises. Um, it's a dark world, so it's a little hard to see on my screen when I'm recording. So I think I actually walked through the water right here. Yep. So I'm just like, whoa, what? Hi, doggy. Hi, buddy. Dog's just like staring at me like, who are you talking to? Don't eat my apple. But, um, like there's the leaves all over the, like, the ground and the rooftops. And it's a very, very well done world. I'm not gonna lie. I love, uh, like, the lighting and the building are extravagant. The different places you can move around to. There's so much that you can do. It's just awesome. I suppose I should probably explain to you, uh, what that little weird jumpy thing he does is. That's Ryuichi's uh, special uh, move, I guess, would, or special thing. Is he does he has the uh, leaping dragon jump or something? I think it's what it's called. Uh, it allows you to jump from points that normally a character such as Sly wouldn't even be able to make. Uh, yeah, a nice little trick when you're playing the game is if you jump a second time right before you hit the ground, you won't make as much noise, and the guards are less likely to notice you. Manchong tile. Yeah, he also has different attacks, special attacks that you get to use, which is pretty exciting. Exciting stuff. Ah, I'm making faces and no one can see me. <laughs> um, yeah, like you're right here. Like, I mean, yes, yeah, so I would have been able to make that one, but it's like you don't have to actually push anything other than just like X or something. Yeah. Silly guards. I think it's actually uh, the same guy who does Ryuichi's voice also does some of the board cards, which is kind of kind of fun. I just hit a poisonous box and it, yeah. There's a door that you'll, uh, well, I guess you won't really get to see it until I do an LP of this, but it's used later in a mission. And there's a guard. Oh, my doggy left. But yeah, so, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. And my dog's back. So I'll hug him instead. Hi! Nope, nope. Oh, it's not me. Uh, yeah. He, uh, his silent obliteration, or I guess just stealth kill, it's not really silent, is throwing, um, shuriken. The uh, throwing stars at the guards. Yes, I hear you. My ferret is making really noise again. He's very noisy like that. Uh, yeah, he also has the silent sprint, which is a move that Sly will later um, be able to uh, have, but it allows you to run past guards without being detected, as you can see. But it does make the attendant look fun, a little funny when you're running along. It's, it's really, really a very nice little thing, especially if you're running after something and get, or running away even. Other guards won't hear you and be after you, unless the ones that are you're shooting at you. Or whatever. I'm, at this point, I'm just like, where do I go? And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to the geisha house. Yeah, that, that's one thing I couldn't help but laugh at was the fact that there was a geisha house. I mean, look at that. It's I'm failing here. He didn't even splash. That's how ninja he is. Okay, has something. Oh, but yeah, it's like, not only that, but you'll see later on in one of the missions, uh, Ryuichi apparently knows a uh, secret way in, which 
I find hilarious. Luigi, what are you up to? Anyway, um, so we're obviously not going to go- no, maybe? I forget if I actually go up there or not. I think I'd mess with some guards actually though. And I fail at jumping because I'm just- yeah. It- yeah. <laughs> I got mad and tried to hit it <laughs> and missed. Uh, yeah, but there's later on a mission that you'll- involves going into the geisha house. It's a very, very fun mission, but yeah, the first time I played it, I'm like, oh, um, what am I doing? Yeah, there's a little, little latch there. I'm like, look at it going, I don't want to go in there. Um, yeah, but you'll also notice that there's a, I don't know if I actually stop and look at it or not, but there's a couple different uh, women that are featured for the geishas. There's Madame Geisha, who happens to be a rhinoceros. And then there's another lady that's on the poster that I'm ignoring totally. But she's a fox, which I had to kind of laugh. Yeah, there's a... They also get special combo moves, which involves, like, shooting, like, a little thing at them. I, I remember the slides is basically... You, oh yeah, there's Madame Geisha with a chicken leg in her mouth. Um... But Sly's, like, special combination attack is, like, he swings his cane like a golf club, which is really funny, because I had no idea what it was at first. You know, here's me, I've played my Sly games, I've played 1 through 3, and, you know, I know generally what I'm doing. But sure enough, it's like, hey, you can use a special combo. Me, totally not paying attention to it whatsoever. A little bit later, accidentally pushes the buttons. Holy crap, look at that! <laughs> it was funny. Oh, I didn't kill him, he fell right in front of the guard. And he alerted them. Although the nice thing is, the guards won't always see you. Like, that, I attack that guard, normally they'd be after me, like, in number two, but... Yeah, the red and light, red and blue, wow. Goodness, it's like cop lights. will appear by your icon, in your health bar, telling you if you're being attacked or not, which is helpful, but very misleading. Because sometimes you're being pursued, but it's by someone who can't get to you. And I'm like, no, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Don't try that. You won't catch me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have a little bit of a thing with paper pockets in this game. If someone has something, I'm bound to go after it. And I'm just like, eh, I kinda wanna get past it, but I don't wanna get caught. And I remember there's a rope there, because there's a bottle on this rope. I already got it. Huh. Yeah, so... We're moving along now here to the other part of the main square, I guess you'd call it, to the sushi shop. Where there you see a poster of Ryuichi. Presumably a wanted poster. Um, And I'm just, like eyeing up this guy's pocket like, I want that! And it's to the point where I'm willing to make a distraction. The nice thing though is, like, I like the chickens and the spiders and... Apparently that wasn't loud enough. I'm just like, really? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I use that to get his attention. I drag him away. Which is... I'm right on your tail! <laughs> I'm right on your tail! Not really, I'm up the lamppost, and unless you can climb, there's no way. But like, the pigs and the chickens in this, in this level, I guess, would be... It's nice that, like, they give you a coin, which eh, is not really worth much, but it's at the same time you're like, Oh, hey! Get a lot of room of them, you get a couple coins. A little bit more worth it. Um, yeah, and here I am after that guy's pocket again. I'm just bent on getting it. Um, it was worth it though, because it's ivory chopsticks. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, but then I'm like, oh crap, he's gonna walk. After a long walk. Oh, so now they heard that. I don't get it. Sometimes. But, like, he's supposedly after me, but he never actually saw me. That's the thing. That's what's really weird about it. Oh, back to this bridge. Oh. But, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm like, where's the save house? I forget that I have the mini map at the bottom of the screen there. But, yeah. I've, I've, at this point, I have actually beaten the game, and I've got. All the bottles and the safes, all the treasure, and I've got like over half of the masks. Yeah, it's <laughs> black. Run away. <laughs> yeah, so looks like my time's up. <laughs>